Now, uh, thousands of monitors are being installed in schools, which could help to stop the spread of COVID. The devices help to identify when ventilation needs to be improved in classrooms. Our social affairs correspondent, Fiona Lambden, reports. Many children are now wearing coats inside their classrooms. Keeping windows open and rooms well ventilated reduces the risk of spreading COVID. But it's mid-November. Normally I come in my coat and my blazer. And then nowadays I wear a long sleeve um, white shirt because it's getting quite cold nowadays. So yeah, just to keep warm in lessons because the windows are open. The windows are kind of like behind me. So you can always feel like the constant like cold just hitting the back of you. And it's like you want to close the windows, but like you know the purpose of them being open. It's just like you kind of have to deal with it. There may be a solution though. These carbon dioxide monitors, they help schools understand how well the air is circulating. £25 million spent on delivering 300,000 monitors to schools. Here at John Cabot in South Gloucestershire, they've just received 50. So how do they work? Well, a value under 800 parts per million will show as green, and that means that this classroom is well ventilated. However, if it goes above 1,500, it will turn red, and then the teacher knows they have to open more doors and windows. What we've been able to do is reassure staff that actually the levels of ventilation in their rooms are normal or even good in many places, which has reassured them and reduced anxiety amongst the staff body. It also means in the future we might be able to actually close some of the windows a little bit, make the whole thing a little bit more comfortable and possibly even our bills a bit lower. But many schools are still waiting for their monitors. The Department of Education say half have been delivered. And some schools have told me they don't actually want them. Here they're doing everything they can to keep COVID out. In the last week, they reintroduced mask wearing in communal areas. Fiona Lambden, BBC Points West.